control. It's one of the most important aspects of a video game, even more so than graphics, sound, or story. In arcades, many control styles can be found and are often tailored to the game. NBA Jam, Space Invaders, Tapper, Mortal Kombat. Fighting games standardized controls and became the basis for fight sticks. A fight stick is a handheld at home version of an arcade style control layout. Popular in fighting game circles because of the emulation of the cabinet experience. Buying one of these is expensive. At least $150 for cheaper options. But for as long as there have been gamers, they have been customizing their experience. This is a homemade fight stick, comprised of a simple wooden box housing affordable electronics readily available online, much cheaper and more personal than retail counterparts. Austin Lane is a freshman computer science major at Tennessee Tech, and he's the one who built his own custom fight stick. I'm a computer science major, uh, focus cybersecurity, but, uh, whatever you want to call that. But uh, as far as what year I am, I'm a freshman. Uh, this is just my second semester. For the most part, a regular controller and the fight stick function the same way, but there are a few notable differences. So, as far as input goes and how it's treated in the computer, they're functionally the same. Um, the actual circuitry of the fight stick, uh, it's just a USB encoder and the computer by default treats it just like a normal joystick does. What's different are the switches and how it's getting that input. So, uh, the biggest example I can think of, uh, let's contrast this with say something like an Xbox or PlayStation controller. They have a full 360 degree range of detection. So, you know, they figure out exactly which angle you're moving, which if you have a 3D game, that's really helpful. The arcade sticks, they're meant for more, you know, 2D arcade fighting games, in which case only the eight major eight directions, so north, south, east, west, and then in between those, that's really what matters. A player in an intense match would not worry about accidentally giving too much input using a stick compared with a regular controller. Lane purchased the electronic components online and constructed the enclosure himself out of wood and an acrylic plate on top. Some of the work was done in the iCube makerspace on the third floor of the Volpe Library. Makerspace is a unique combination of computer science and what many people would consider a workshop. 3D printers, their products, electronics, and a groovy robot can be found here. The wooden case is largely constructed at this point and Lane is measuring the acrylic top, which gives a shine and hold custom artwork in place on the final controller. How difficult is building one? Lane compares the electrical aspect to building a Lego kit. Overall, it's much cheaper than buying a pre-made one. Because there's no soldering or anything that you have to do, you just connect the leads to the buttons and connect that to the circuit board. Lane is building four of these, two for himself and two as prizes for the Tennessee Tech Esports Club's Button Mash Bash event being held on April 28th. The eight button layout that I have, it's actually the standard arcade button layout for arcade machines in Japan. So at the certain angles and the certain positions they're in, and it's just an eight button sequence. Also that allows you to play a much wider variety of games with the same you know, joystick. Because if you think about it, if a game needs eight buttons, you've got eight buttons. But if it needs six, well then two of them aren't going to be used. But if you have six buttons on your joystick and your game needs eight, what are you going to do? How important is the perfect input to someone who plays fighting games? Demarcus Fouch is a former tech student and a frequent participant in fighting game tournaments, recently placing third in the Dragon Ball Fighter Z tournament at NTech, the Middle Tennessee Anime Convention. He explains the intricacies of controllers versus fight sticks. Yes, you can play them with a fight stick, but a lot of games these days are made towards like, they're catered towards more like the casual gamer who feels like they don't have to run out and buy this heavy arcade stick just to play well. You can actually play it well with a standard like PlayStation 4 controller or an Xbox One controller. But I always tell people this, it's preference. It's preference. Don't feel like you really need to run out and buy a like a huge, a huge controller just so you can feel like you're doing something. Because most games nowadays, the way like they're developed and made in mind towards like the casual gamer you don't really need to spend like that much on it. you can do just fine with whatever you're comfortable with and that's pretty much the one thing I want people to take out of this is preference depending on the game some moves may be easier to do with a stick compared to a controller Fouch is demonstrating basic combos using both note the use of the claw method on the controller which doesn't happen on the stick preference is the key which Lane says fueled his drive to build his custom controller along with the challenge of the actual construction 
it's kind of a lame reason, but I just wanted to. Uh, I, it's really just kind of the person I am. I just think, hey, I wonder if I could do this. And, you know, I decided to do it. I've, uh, you know, I also I just enjoy playing fighting games. And it's not too incredibly expensive. It'd be an interesting project. And, you know, who knows, it might actually, you know, I might get better at playing, you know, these fights. Because I enjoy playing them. I'm just really, really bad at them. But, um, yeah, it, 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 when it all boils down to it, I just, I just felt like making it, and I wanted to see if I could.